Sometimes people are in a bad mood. Sometimes you're not in the right mood. It's a marriage on the phone. You can turn things around, but just to be clear, like, you know, not every single phone call where you talk to someone is going to turn out for whatever reason. Can you just talk a little bit about that? It never, it's, nothing works out the way you think it's going to work out, number one, right? And you can't control the results. You can't control if they're in a good mood, bad mood, they want to sell, don't want to sell, hang up. You can't control what they do. So quit trying to control the results. Right? Focus on your actions, right? I'm going to make phone calls for two hours, three times a week. I, 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 actually, my coaching program, me, three hours, three days a week is what I like to see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That way, if you, if you have to show property on Tuesday, you miss that session, you can make it up Thursday or Friday, or make up both of them, right? Get three three-hour sessions in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then you're good. I don't care what you do the rest of the time. If you find more downtime, make more calls. But when you're in that call session, focus on making calls for three hours. I don't care if every number is disconnected. Be happy that you put that work in. on the side. With our fire department schedule, we work about nine days a month. So with that time off, we both had a real love and interest for real estate, so we decided to make that, you know, that transition. What, should you, what do you recommend us to give our clients the best service possible? And how do we give them a 10 plus plus experience besides compared to other agents? I think the biggest thing is figuring out why they want to do what they want to do and then focus everything on that. What are they, what's going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision? And when you focus on that bigger picture, then they feel that you care so much. And what does that equal? Service. The service equals care. When you go out to eat and the server gives you good service, well, it's because they care about getting you that drink on time and getting you exactly what you ordered. They cared enough to do it. Service equals care. You, you, you don't take these situations and let them just stop you right in your tracks. You smooth them right out. How'd you get my phone number? Online somewhere, but like I was saying, I'm just calling to see if there's anything in the world I can do for you, right? Right? right. right. If you lost a deal over missing that call and calling them back five seconds later and they're like, oh, you didn't answer your phone, you don't want to be your client anyway. I don't want to be your agent. I try to talk to them if I can, but I have thousands of clients, I can't call them all. I just do the best I can do. But they know, they already know that when they call me, it's on. I'm going to dive over, you know, dive in the fire for them, you know what I'm saying? They know when they refer somebody to me, I'm going to deal with it. I don't have a team. I'm not going to send them to another agent. I'm going to, I'm going to show them property. I'm going to go to the listing appointment. I'm going to do all that. They know it's real. That's how I maintain relationships, by making it real. 